numerics and using the formula editor to help us out. The problem goes like this. You need to show the same field via two methods. The customer name, date, revenue amount at the detail level all in one single field as well as the customer name and total revenue amount at the group level also in one single field. There are two methods for doing this. One's a little bit of review and one you just hopefully reviewed. You're going to have to create a new report of course and you're going to join the revenue transaction in the customer table. You're going to join on client number from the revenue transaction table and client number from the customer table. Your group and summarize will be by client only. You're going to hide the details and you're going to filter for the year 2006 and beyond. If you don't remember how to do any of these things, I suggest review the last chapter's lessons and see if it comes back to you. In this movie, we're going to go over the solution to the formula problem one. From Crystal Reports, go create a new report. You can connect ODBC or Direct Connect, it's up to you. From here, I'm going to add in the customer and the revenue transaction table. From here, I'm going to join the client number by clicking and dragging my mouse over to the CLNT num field of the customer table. From here, I click next, and the fields I wish to display are simple. Client from the customer table and revenue amount from the revenue transaction table. I'll also pull in the revenue date just because it's part of the exercise. I hit next and I'm going to group by client. Hit next and it's automatically summing the revenue amount for me which is okay I'm going to leave it. I'm going to skip over the next two steps the chart and the sorting and I need to filter for 2006 and above. So in this case I'm going to say it's greater than or equal to 01 slash 01 slash 2006 12 AM and click finish. Now I have a very simple report with my client, my revenue amount, and my revenue date. I'm going to go ahead and click on the design view and I'm going to suppress the details. I'm going to drag my revenue amount summary up to my group header one as opposed to the footer and suppress the group footer. Now my report looks something like this. But the exercise is asking for the ability to show a few things. The first is I needed to show the client plus the revenue date plus the revenue amount at the detail level. As such, I'm going to need to unsuppress my detail section and then go straight into my formula fields. Right click on formula and say new. And I'll call this detail field compilation. You can really name it whatever you want, whatever makes sense to you. The exercise called for me simply to grab the customer client plus I like to put a little space dash space to make it easier to read plus the revenue date plus I like to put a little space here in between again the revenue amount. Now from our lessons we know we cannot add strings together if they're not all strings and when we say add we're merely concatenating them together along with our little space dash space which we've manually put in place. In order to get the revenue date to function here, we have to put to text around a single parenthesis. Now, part of the instruction was not date time, but a date. Now, you may consider that a trick question and send me all sorts of hate mail. Feel free to do so. What we need to do here before we change it to text is use the date function. Notice what we've just experimented with here. We now have a function within a function within our formula. This is perfectly acceptable as long as your parentheses are in the proper place. For example, we have the date function with a parenthesis that ends here. And then we have the two text, the greater function, which goes around that. Last but not least, we need to get our revenue amount in order, which is a simple two text. I can also do this to make my life a little bit easier. I can hit the enter key and put this all on one visible screen. Again, that's going to depend on your screen resolution. 
but it doesn't affect the formula one single bit. It just follows one line to the next and makes sure it makes sense. If I click on my check button, I have no errors found. I'll press OK. I will save and close, and then I'll go ahead and drag this field all together here. And it's my data field compilation. It's a little big, so I'm going to shrink it, and I'm going to click Preview. Now I have all those items into one field. Works pretty good. The second method, have you figured it out yet? Is actually fairly simple. I go insert text object, create my text object, you can make it as big or small as you like, and in this I'm going to put a space dash space and a space dash space again, and then I'm going to go to my database fields. Go to my customer, I'm going to grab client, and I'm going to drag it into my text box. Now once I've hit it, notice how it turns into a cursor that blinks. I'm going to pull that cursor to the front, and all of a sudden I have client. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose my date. And then I'm going to choose my refund amount. And I'm going to insert a section below in the detail section so we can compare. And I'm going to click on preview. Now notice I didn't have to change anything in the second manual method. And also notice that I pulled in refund amount as opposed to revenue amount. That's why we see the zeros. Those are easy enough to fix. I can come in here, double click, and click to the end. And by hitting one backspace, it gets rid of the refund amount. And I'll pull in the revenue amount. And then I hit preview. The only difference between the two is the timestamp that shows up. But you can get away with that if you put your settings correctly as a default. The last task that the problem asked you to do was to show the summary version of this. So let's go ahead and suppress our details section. And now we're back to our group sections. And what we're going to do is actually fairly simple. I'm going to insert a text object. And I put a space dash space. And I'm going to pull in, not revenue amount, but a special field instead. I'm going to go to my customer table and pull in the client. Once I put it inside the box, I get my blinking cursor, and then I can drag carefully my cursor over to the beginning, and I have my client. Now next is a little trickier. I have to drag my box down into the group. I'm going to copy the summary and paste it right next to the existing. Now I have two summary fields, but what I really want to do is I want to drag this over here and release. Once I do that, I now have the name of my client with its revenue amount in the same field. The last way to do this is using the formula editor, which I think pretty much speaks for itself. However, when using the formula editor, you have to explain that the transaction amount must be translated to text. Allow me to demonstrate. I go to View, Field Explorer, and I go to my Formula Fields, and I say New, and I say Summary Field Compilation. You can really name it whatever you want, whatever makes sense. From here, I'll go ahead and drag in Client, and I'll do my plus, open parenthesis, space, dash, space, in parenthesis, plus, and then to text, two parentheses, of course. And notice here, in my Group 1, I have a customer client sum of revenue transaction amount that I can actually drag into my formulas. And that's the same thing that we pretty much did on the other side. And we hit save and close. From here, I can drag this onto the report. I'll just put right above here. And voila, I get the same result set. Of course, the format's a little off, but that's okay. A little playing around with it, you can get it bold, italic, whatever you need it to be. As for the format of this report, this was more of an exercise than a design in good taste. Hopefully it's illustrated the point effectively.